The Glass Bowl in Toledo, Ohio. A great place to be for this college football matchup. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke tastes, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Western Michigan is kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. Tackle at the 19. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. He's tackled around the 33-yard line. What a and he's tackled after positive yardage. Here they come, and he's sacked. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. play here, just a smartly run route. Good. And they get nice yardage on that run. Let's go. He's got the corner. Out of bounds, the 39-yard line. Hit. Nice run, and he's brought down. goes the 27-yard line. Burr. Check, check, check four, check four. Off balance, and they can't connect. Might be able Set. to get back in the line. And he throws it away. And he might want it all here, and does. Hey, this guy. Pass to the end zone. Touchdown, Rockets. This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. You knew they had to dial up something big, but these kids really dug deep for an absolutely huge play. And he hits the PAT. So a 13-play, 80-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. So our score, 7-0. Toledo is ready to kick it away. Phillips fields at the 17. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he's level at the 45. Man, that is a great call and a big game, especially on an early down. the stop at the 47. Fires out to his wideout, and he is drilled at the 36-yard line, and a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Flushed and they got it. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. We'd be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Gets out to around the 32. He's hit before he can go anywhere. Pulls it in, and he could score. They'll bring him down at the six. That's a game of 20 on the play. That makes it first and goal. Can get 
get pretty fierce in this territory, but they look totally in control there. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He makes the PAT. Mitchell looks ready to kick this one off. He'll take it from the two. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 23-yard line. And now he's got room to run. And he's taken down around the 40-yard line. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Tackle made right around the 48-yard line. Here. And he hits him hard at the 31 yard line. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. He goes out of bounds around the 25 yard line. Inside the 10. He's taken down just outside the goal line. Concentration laps right there. The coaches will be touchdown Toledo. When you're that close to the end zone, it's always a smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Phillips takes it the 14. Brought down at the 33. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. I like the combination of speed and strength. The Got his receiver, it's the sophomore. It He's scrambling, slides down. Four yards there on the scramble. Receiver's got the first down, brought down at about the 45. He's on the run. They'll make the sack. And it seemed like they had no problem getting to the quarterback on that play. Great call by the defensive coordinator to call the blitz. It left the defensive lineman free to get to the quarterback. He scrambled. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Tackle at the 39. Well, he's going to try and scramble. Gets past the tackler, and he's tackled at the 37. The effort was big there to set up this fourth down. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. 14-7, Rockets. They get the sack. Not quite enough for the first. Looks like they'll turn it over on downs. You know what? I think they still made the right call there. I can't argue the play call. The defense just did their job by standing their ground. Toledo is up a score. And he's hit immediately. Check to him again. Complete. That's a great tackle at the 35. He's got an opening. He's at the 20. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. Touchdown, Rockets. And he adds the extra point. 
It was a five play 60 yard drive and that's good for a touchdown. Brad I thought that was a textbook drop. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Phillips makes it the 21. He's back in it. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. He's tackled at about the 47 yard line. He fights forward to about the 49. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. And down he goes at the 19 yard line. And they get nice yardage on that one. He's on the run. Tackle that reducing pickup. Down he goes, right around the 30. This is picture-perfect defense by this corner. Great job of providing run support. Dumps it complete to the halfback, over the middle. And he tackles him hard at the 38-yard line. Out of bounds at the 45-yard line. Dangerous throw. This one's picked off. And he's level at the 50-yard line. Brad, this week, these coaches told us about how they want their players to fight and really be determined. Here they are down by a couple scores, and the defense comes up with a big interception, showing that character that their coaches... Now he's scrambling. And they make the stop at the 46-yard line. Slings it. And he is drilled at the 35-yard line. Up the middle for a nice game. He'll get it again. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. Bring him down around the 21 yard line. Quick strike to the receiver, and he's taken down around the 14 yard line. Fires to his tight end, nothing doing. Quick strike, and he drops it. He gets it up. No good. He missed it to the right. All it takes is a split second of something going wrong. A low snap, a bad hold, a slip, and you've got a miss to the right or the left. Perfect example of that. He's out of bounds at about the 23-yard line. On the catch. Oh, they strip it out. Makes the catch and look out. That's your goal on every possession. It's away. Short punt. Tackle made at the 42-yard line. The last time. But this guy won't hang his head. If he has another opportunity to kick one, he'll be ready to go. Gets it out in a hurry. It falls incomplete. Quick pass, tackle made at the 24-yard line. Good job to identify the weakness in this defense. Any good offense will exploit those holes over and over again. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. Kill it, 
takes it out to about the 16. He tackles him for a loss. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. Ball start, offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. The sooner he gets back, the better, because they've been really working over his backup. This one's going deep to the end zone. And so now the ball's turned over on downs. <laughs> Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Football here. Toledo's lead is two touchdowns. Now you look up, the margin is a couple of possessions, couple of scores. It's a great opportunity for this team to come out in the second half and put this thing away. Yeah, you knew it was going to be a close game, and you feel fortunate to be on the right side of making some big plays. And you don't necessarily know, Reese, if that's going to happen in the second half. So you got to take advantage of this lead. Make sure that you don't squander. Make sure you don't make mistakes in the second half. But if you're looking at it right now, you're going, I'm pretty excited. I'm up two scores, and everything's going in the right direction. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. <laughs> Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. The Rockets can get back in the game. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. He's taken down at the 36. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Gains his way to midfield. And he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I Scrambling around. Brought down at the 43. First down here. Caught out in the open. Quick throw, and he hits him hard at the 38. They go to the ground game. They bring him down in the backfield. Screen pass. He's got his half back. He's knocked out of bounds at the 32. Tackle around the 32-yard line. He scrambled. Slides down. There was some movement on the line. Red, 85. Ball start. Zips it to the tight end. And he's tackled around the 24-yard line. This Trying to set up a little screen. Gets it to his tailback. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 17-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. He's tackled at about the 17-yard line. The kick is up. And it's no good. It lands short. He's got it with room to run. 
A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. Gives it to the back. He fights forward to about the 10. With that man open, and he dropped it. There's a strike complete. Touchdown, Rockets! Tremendous example of the type of chemistry that these two players enjoy. When a quarterback and a receiver are on the same page, good things tend to happen. He makes the PAT. A 10-play, 80-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. The score now, 28-7. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Phillips takes it at the 14. They'll bring him down at the 29. The Broncos are a favorite football play. You just got to forget about the mistakes, try to get a little bit of momentum created, and get confidence back in his quarterback being able to make plays for him. And down he goes around the 27-yard line. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. And they make the stop at the 18. And he's level at the 17. Not it's first down. He's scrambling. Looks like he's going to run. They'll bring him down around the eight-yard line. He's into the open field. Dives forward. Thanks, down. He's on the run, and they got him. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out of practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out. Better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. And he's taken down around the three-yard line. We head to the fourth. 28-7, to Toledo. Trying to get a head start there. They'll give this one another try after the flag. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. Tackle made at the five-yard line. Now he's flushed and they got it. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. A conversion there could have really helped them, but it just wasn't to be. They got to step it up and make a stop. Quick out to his receiver, and he tackles him hard at the 31. Nice run up the middle, and he picked up almost four on that half. Here we go! Quick throw out to the receiver. That's a great tackle at the 49-yard line. Set of downs every time. And a quick throw. And he is drilled at the 44-yard line. Finds his man. First down. He's taken down right around the 32-yard line. Good open field tackle. Got a man, watch out here. Drop down around the 15 yard line. Looks to him again, complete. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. And he throws it away. And he hits him hard at the four-yard line. Check, 
Fires quickly to the tight end. He's got it. Touchdown. That's his third toss for a score. The one thing this quarterback does a nice job of is taking what the defense gives him. He's always looking for the open target. And he converts the extra point. It was an 11 play, 88 yard drive. And it's good for seven points. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Phillips. Takes it at the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. For... Catches it, and that's all. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. Tackle around the 39-yard line. They'll get him for a loss. Mitchell is waiting for the snap. <laughs> Phillips takes it to 25. He makes it to the 38-yard line. This one in the book. Toledo looking to build on this commanding lead here. Nice run to the outside. He kept it himself and picked up about six yards. He makes it to the 45-yard line. He makes it to the 48-yard line. It's a short kick. And he's tackled at the 29-yard line. A minute in the game. Steps out of bounds at the 35. Steps out of the sack for a loss. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, and especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page. Third down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he's tackled around the 45-yard line. Especially on third down. He's at the 40. Pass out to the tight end, and he's got the first down. He's tackled around the 19-yard line. First and 10. Here comes the pressure. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Under pressure. And they get the sack. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Stop made there late in the fourth quarter, but this game's been over almost since the beginning. Under pressure. He's going to try and scramble. So the play of the day. Fourth and ball game, and the defense comes up with the stop of the day. Let's at the end. Toledo comes to the line, holding that commanding lead. Some backups got some playing time today, that's for sure. It's final. Toledo, 35, Western Michigan, 7. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.